go to the vitamin B2 which is the riboflavin. Vi we have more to go so please bear with me. Anyways, let's go to number 9 which is selenium. So selenium is important for thyroid function, for metabolism also. It helps the body to protect itself from oxidative stress, boost immune system, also slows down the age-related mental decline. Finally, it helps in reducing heart diseases. Best mentions are 0.896 for muscle, cantuna in water of 0.8, Oyster of 0.6371 microgram per gram. Next is egg yolk, which has 0.5597 microgram per gram. Whole wheat pasta, which has 0.54 microgram per gram. Tilapia of 0.5 microgram per gram. And flower seeds, which has 0.53 microgram per gram. And for the best mention is the wheat grass, which is 1 microgram per gram. Anyways, wheat grass always wins in nutritious amount. So without further delay, let's go to the next one which is the sodium. It is involved in a cellular function, fluid regulation, and electrolyte balance. Also, this is an electrolyte or a mineral that should be limited also. And if you want basis on how much sodium you need, you need to have the RENI as basis and you cannot have more than that. And of course, the best mentions are 1. is Stable salt, which is 387 mg per gram, that's so high. Fish sauce or patis in Filipino, we have 79.3 mg per gram. Cheddar cheese, we have 23.429 mg per gram. Pepperoni, which is 16.53 mg per gram. And a lot of junk foods you can find everywhere. So watch out, you need to avoid that. Please avoid that. Avoid sodium, a lot of sodium. Also be careful, sodium is also available in many breads too. So anyways, let's go to the next one which is Styamine. So vitamin B1 or thiamine helps in converting energy from foods. It also helps in muscle contraction and conduction of nerve signals. So best mentioned are some milk and moss which is 0.03 to 0.0069 mg per gram. Flax seeds which is 0.016 mg per gram. Pistachio nuts, which is 0 0.0081 mg per gram of thiamine. Flour and sesame seeds both have 0 0.008 mg per gram. Oats, which are 0 0.0077 mg per gram. Ground pork, the raw or even the cooked, 0 0.0071 mg per gram. And lastly, pork chop, which are 0 0.0062 mg per gram. Oh, I forgot, with grass, this is 3.14 mg per gram. A highest contender in Thiamine. And also these are the RNI you need to reach for you to have a nutritious diet. Please let's go to the other vitamin, vitamin A. As we all know, it helps in a healthy vision, skin, and bones. So the best mentions are always wheat grass which is 166.27 microgram RE per gram. Beef liver which is 123.06 microgram RE per gram. Cooked sweet potato or kamote which is 74.55 Carrots which is 64.813 microgram RE per gram Kale which is 56.655 Squash 43.281 Spinach 36.379 Green leaf lettuce 28.729 Seaweed laver or nori 20.182 matcha which has 19.399 microgram or e per gram and pak choy cabbage or pecha in filipino 17.3 microgram or e per gram so anyways this is the amount of vitamin a based on the r e and i for you to have a good nutritious day so next let's go to niacin niacin or vitamin b3 Niacin helps in lowering the bad cholesterol and increases the HDL or good cholesterol. Also, it helps in preventing heart diseases. So anyways, the best mentions are milk in moss which is 0.48 mg per gram, beef liver 0.175 mg per gram, the skipjack tuna or tambacol in some they call tulingan in Philippines 0.154 mg per gram, the chicken breast of 0.13171 mg per gram, peanuts of 0.13 mg per gram, the wheat grass which is whopping 72 mg per gram of niacin. So this is the amount in RNI that you reach for you to have a good and nutritious 
diet. Proceed to vitamin D6. It is essential for assimilating protein and fat to make red blood cells and healthy immune system. So the best mentions are the milk in moss which is 0.01 mg per gram, sunflower seeds which is 0.0136 mg per gram, pistachio which is 0.013 mg per gram, the garlic 0.0125 mg per gram, beef liver which is 0.01 mg per gram, skipjack tuna which is 0.0086 mg per gram, and wheat grass with a whopping 11.34 mg per gram. So let's proceed to vitamin B12. It is essential for the formation of red blood cells, maintaining healthy nervous system, and increasing energy levels. The best mentions for vitamin B12 are beef liver which is 0.7 microgram per gram cooked kale 0.29 microgram per gram mussels 0.24 microgram per gram crab 0.09 microgram per gram some milk found in moss 0.02 to 0.07 microgram per gram bamboos or milkfish 0.034 microgram per gram cheddar cheese 0.0314 microgram per gram ground beef of 0.0251 microgram per gram so this is the amount of vitamin B12 you need to reach for have a nutritious diet. Next, let's proceed to one of our favorite vitamins, vitamin C. Vitamin C is an antioxidant that helps in boosting our immune system and helps fighting infection. So the best measures for vitamin C, look for these foods. Number one is enriched milk in moss which is 0.7 to 2.27 mg per gram. That much can boost your day. So with grass, 2 mg per gram. The raw or cooked kale which is 1.2 mg per gram. Kiwi fruit which is 9.26 mg per gram. Ampalaya or balsam pear or bitter gourd 0.8387 mg per gram. The papaya 0.6179 mg per gram. Strawberries 0.5882 mg per gram. Raw chives 0.581 mg per gram. Oranges 0.5321 mg per gram. Now, this is the amount of vitamin C you need for you to be healthy and to have your immunity boosted. So anyways, let's go to the next vitamin which is vitamin D. So vitamin D is essential for the bones and the teeth formation while helping the body to absorb calcium and phosphorus. And the best measures for vitamin D are Number 1 is enriched milk and moss. 0.01.04 microgram per gram. This is the most common source of vitamin D, I tell you. Milk in moss. Well, that is if I say I want to find it in foods. I will tell you later why. So next is oysters, 0.08 microgram per gram. The egg yolks, which 0.0267 microgram per gram. Salted butter of 0.014 microgram per gram. Egg, which is 0.0088 microgram per gram. And lastly, the most abundant, the sun. Well, practically, if you stay for 5 to 15 minutes in the sun, you will have the amount, the right amount of vitamin D. Well, practically, that is only applicable if the sun is shining brightly in the morning. Anyways, this is the amount of vitamin D you need for you to have the right nutrition. So anyways, let's go to one of the most favorite vitamins. It helps in clearing skin. It is the vitamin E, a powerful antioxidant essential for healthy skin, circulation, and maintaining the cells. So honorable mentions are eat grass with a whopping 91.40 mg per gram, malunggay or moringa 1.13 mg per gram, sunflower seeds 0.33 mg per gram, almond nuts 0.26 mg per gram, milk in moss ranging or the lowest one can be found at 0.1 mg per gram, hazelnuts 0.15 mg per gram, and avocado 0.0207 mg per gram. And this is the right amount of vitamin E you need. You can have an amount higher than this. Practically, if a person has high amount of vitamin E, it can be seen in the skin of that person. So anyways, let's proceed to the next vitamin which is vitamin K. So vitamin K helps in transporting the calcium through the cells. Honorable measures are wheat grass 10 microgram per gram, kale 8.17 microgram per gram, mustard greens which is 2.99 microgram per gram, chives 2.13 microgram per gram, green leaf lettuce which is 1.7361 microgram per gram, cabbage 0.7596 microgram per gram, olive oil 0.6 microgram per gram, okra 0.53 microgram per gram, petrol pak choy 
0.45 microgram per gram kiwi 0.4 microgram per gram so to complete the vitamin and minerals we have the zinc is essential for the healthy immune system tissue formation normal growth and wound healing and last but not the least for reproduction so if you want a baby please look for zinc it will really help in boosting your manliness so the best sources are number one is wheatgrass with 17.71 milligram per gram shrimp 2.24 milligram per gram oyster 0.9 milligram per gram cheddar cheese 0.1171 milligram per gram sesame seeds 0 0.072 milligram per gram dry powder cocoa 0 0.0686 milligram per gram ground beef 0 0.066 milligram per gram also commonly found in milk and moss for 0 0.0642 milligram per gram so anyways this is the RENI for zinc so you need to reach this to have a normal or nutritious diet for the day. Those are some of the vitamins and minerals and also antioxidants. So I give you the idea or I give you the list of foods which they can be found very common or very high. I'm sorry for a very lengthy video but thank you so much for watching until the end. If you have suggestions and comments on the vitamins, please comment down below and don't hesitate. Thank you so much for watching and always remember to... Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to eat better, track better, and be better. This is Ray, signing off.